Hey everyone, Eggman here with a, another video. And today we have the new One Piece card game tutorial app. It is released in Japan, but not in the States yet, but there is a pretty easy way to get it if you guys want to try it out. Uh, so that's what the video today is. It's, it's a tutorial to get the tutorial app. I know it's confusing as well as if you want to see me play through it the first time, that is what we're going to do. So that's what the video is. Uh, and in general, uh, there you, what you need, if you want to play this, uh, you just need a VPN and then either a phone or a computer. I recommend going for a computer because, uh, the Apple and Android stores are a little particular about you changing accounts and everything else. I've. I just didn't want to mess it up, so I just found it easier to use a virtual Android environment, which sounds tricky and complicated, but it's it's just super easy. So we'll just do that, and you do need a VPN. VPNs are generically, uh, they cost money. I'm not sponsored by one. Uh, I do use Nord anyways, so just like, I don't, don't, I'm not sponsored. I don't care if you, whatever you use, but do, you do need a VPN that will go into it, and then you do need this blue stack. So uh, at least are any other Android uh like uh, emulator. I found this one to be the easiest in the past. So it's the one I'm using again. Bluestacks 5 is the one you want. Bluestacks 10 is just for smaller devices uh, that kind of use like a cloud computing source. So do watch out for that. Might even work for Android phones. I, I haven't even checked it, but I want to do on PC because I'm going to be recording this and recording PCs better anyways. So download Bluestacks from there. And then before you start it, you want to make sure that your VPN is on for Japan, uh, just even before you uh, start doing anything on the Android virtual environment, but you're going to get a little blue stacks executable from there. And, uh, you will see something like this without the, uh, one piece card game app that I've already downloaded. So, uh, we just go into the play store. Uh, you have to, uh, find, you have to make an account and you just have to, since you, your IP will be in Japan, it will assume that you are in Japan. And so it will make a Japanese Google play account for you, which is pretty easy. I did make an account before I turned the VPN in and then Google was like, aha, the first IP was us. So, uh, I had to make a, a second account for it, but it's fine. It's working. We're there. Don't make the same mistakes. Don't make more e-waste with these emails. And uh, then from there, you just have to find the app. Uh, the easiest way that I found, because uh, it's new and it's not on the, the store as much, uh, is that you just go to the app store. Or you just go to Chrome. You just go to the One Piece card game. Pretty much what we did before, uh, we just go into the, uh, you go to the top right here, go to Japan. And then you go to the four beginners and then at the bottom, there is the teaching app. And then you have a link to it in the store right here. So, uh, pretty easy. And then you hit the install button and you hit open. So before you hit open, when I first opened this, it was super duper loud. So just make sure you're not wearing headphones or if you are like I am, uh, you know that the it's turned all the way down, uh, just because that I'm, there's going to be no sound on it on this, on the fringe case that there's any copyright stuff, but here we are, we have it. It's, it's on a PC and it looks kind of nice. So we're going to hit the tap to start. Uh, there's terms and conditions. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what this says. So we're just going to go to the bottom and we're going to hit okay on the top right here and go again. So right real quick, the first thing you want to do, unless you could read those terms and conditions is you go here and you go to English right here. And if you want to turn down this BGM and these sound effects, I don't think anyone's going to blame you. So you go there and we're in the app. All right. So that didn't take anything. It's very easy. If you have any questions about the process, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but again, I recommend just doing it on a PC because uh, you don't want to mess with your Apple or Google accounts and mess with regions because it can, it just sometimes takes a lot to fix. And it's for, for just a tutorial app, just download an app that can download the app for you. So I actually don't know how many of these are there's okay. So there's three parts. We're just going to go through it right now and tutorial mode number one. All right. Uh, let's start the tutorial introduces you to the basics of the rules of the game. All right. All right. During the fresh phase, return all Dawn attached to your, uh, cards, they field. And then, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's, it's just like an untap phase for a lot of us. It looks like in the bottom left, so it shows that we have our life. We have our Dawn deck here. So we have two that are an active zero that are arrested. And then we have our draw phase as well. So we get to draw one there's Zorro. Yeah. And we add two from our Dawn deck into our active Dawn. So we do have four now. And then we have a lot of actions uh, during the main phase. It's a lot like the Dragon Ball Super main phase uh, in a lot of ways. So we can play Zorro from our hand. 
uh, we need to pay its cost and uh, we place it in our characters area with a cost of three and it cannot attack the turn it is played. So uh, we'll just scooch this over here. And then uh, let's try attacking your opponent to attack. You can rest one of your upright active cards by turning it sideways. Uh, let's rest your leader card, Luffy, and declare your attack. You can choose to attack your opponent's leader or one of their rested character cards. And they don't have any rested character cards, so we can only attack their leader. And I, oh, they have like this little, this is my first playthrough of this, by the way, but they've got like a really like summoning sickness uh, animation. So we're going to attack the leader. So they have a counter, so they are going to use the counter of 1k on the sheep's head and add it. So uh, it's a 6k to a 5k, so you do new damage. Your opponent uses a counter step to increase the leader's power. During the counter step, it can increase. Uh, it's pretty much just what I said. So yeah, 6 to 5. Now your opponent is able to defend their card against your attack by increasing its power. And uh, let's use a Dawn to strengthen one of your character cards by giving it an active Dawn card in your cost area to your leader or character. You can increase the power during the turn by 1k per turn. Uh, so let's put the Dawn here. Next up, let's use our leader's effect. This lets you give a rested Dawn to your leader or character. Let's give one Dawn to the VB as well. So we're going to use the skill. And uh, just give this leader... Okay, oh, we just have to click it, sorry. Beef is now 6k, so let's try attacking the opponent's leader. So, there we go. And so we did one damage, so they went down to zero life. Your opponent didn't do anything during the counter step, so Vivi won at this time. Your opponent's life has increased by one, and they lost a card in their hand. There we go. That's the end of your turn. Remember, any Dawn cards you give to cards will only increase their power during your turn. And that will be it. So we're going to hit the turn end here. Draw, get two Dawn, and then they're going to use their X Drake to uh, swing in. So Brooke can in, use its own counter. So it's like there's like super combos ones as well, like in Dragon Ball Super. So 2K, uh, you can use a character's counter without any cost. Just be careful you don't use too many of them or you'll run out of cards. So it's our counter step based on the attack, and we'll give it the plus 2K. So it's a 6K. All right, they're going to give a lot of Dawn. All right, and uh, they they really want our VV dead, huh? So that that is that is what's going to happen. So we're gonna pass the counter step, and there we go. All right. To win the game, you need to attack your opponent's leader. When your opponent has zero life remaining, you're almost there. All right. Let's give an active Dawn to Zoro and increase his power by one K, so it's seven K. So we will do that. Uh, yeah, because he has the Dawn one effect of uh, if he has a Dawn, you get it increased by 1k. All right, so we're going to attack there. They're going to use, aha, uh -huh, okay. I, I knew it. They had one energy up. So they have a counter Dawn. So this one costs power to activate, but gets plus 4k. The opponent used an event card during the counter step. The card has a power effect, uh, powerful effect, which is used by returning Dawns to your Dawn deck. So 7k to 9k, so we don't get to. You can give multiple active Dawn to a character. Let's give any remaining to Luffy and then attack. So one, two. You guys can't hear anything, but it's not giving like a big old like Dawn effect. At least I turned the volume down low enough that there's nothing for it. So swing it on in. And there we go. Kaido is defeated. Your opponent can't defend against Luffy attacks, so Luffy wins. Your opponent has zero life remaining, so you've won this game. And there we go. I, uh, I, I feel quite accomplished with that one. So let's go to tutorial mode number two. All right, battle start. All right, your hand isn't very good this time. In this game, you can redraw your hand one time. Give it a go. Uh, redraw your hand, yes. Now that's a much better hand. We've got some Tony Tony choppers and we have our stage as well. Are we going first or second? So we're going first, so we're probably going to play our Tony Tony chopper. Uh, more intricate rules. Uh, can't draw a card on their first turn and you add one instead of the two you normally do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll play the chopper. There he is. Since you use your leader to attack, on you, you can't use your leader, so we can just end our turn. So they have two Dawn because they went second, and uh, they also can't attack because it was their first turn. 
All right, uh, now let's place 1,000 Sunny from your hand. Stage cards are placed by placing them on your fields. While they're on their field, you can activate their effects. So we will do that there. I will say I like this layout a little bit more than how the actual... But I guess they don't have to worry about Dawn as much. We don't use thousands. Uh, why don't we use it on our leader so we can give something a, a 1k boost every turn. And then we can use the skill of our Luffy to give, yeah, yeah, Arrested Dawn. So use that effect on Luffy. There we go. Now try attacking your opponent's Kaido with your powered up Luffy. So it's 7k to their 5k. And they're uses a Jinrumi counter effect from their hand by trashing a counter card from their hand. A player can increase their card's power during that battle. Your opponent's Kaido has gained an extra 1k, so it's now 6k, and now they use the 2k combo, and uh, it is now 8k, so it does not do any damage. So we have to end the turn there. And uh, there we go. All right, so they play their big bad boy, Jack. So Jack's on play, after paying the cost, your opponent has trashed one Sheep's Heads card from their hand activated on their, uh, on Jack's on play, so they get to gain a Dawn. Yeah, so uh, they get to ramp one. All right, they're gonna make their Sheep Heads. So your opponents use Sheep Heads to attack Luffy, you're about to take some damage. We could use a blocker effect of your chopper, so we are going to do that, so. Oh, or we can use our event card, too. Uh, increases one of your cards by 3k power for the battle. We can use it on Luffy. So it's less than the 4k one, but we don't have to trash it on to do that. So Yeah, so we'll give it there. So it's 8k to 6k, so we're fine. I was able to attack Luffy this time. Let's not use a blocker instead. Let's defend with a counter. All right, so we're going to use Nico Robin. Drag it over there, 5k to 6k, so we're fine. So they pass their turn. It's our refresh phase. Let's play Sanji from our hand. All right, cool. So Sanji has an effect that if you give it two Dawn, it gains Rush, which means it can attack the turn it's played. Bam. Or Dawn. Go ahead and use Sanji to attack. I think we will. Down to, oh, okay. So they got one of their uh, event cards that have a trigger and some battle or character cards have triggers as well. So add one Dawn from your Dawn deck and set it to active. So this lets you ramp for free, which is kind of nice. Uh, with a trigger, when you take damage, if a card is trigger, you can activate its effect with a paying its cost. Your opponent used their bomber to get the one Dawn. Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll use Thousand Sunny on our leader again. And then we can also use our Luffy effect to get the extra Dawn as well. There we go. Now it's time to attack with our 7k Luffy. Oh, and they got another one. Shoot, they get to ramp up. Next, play Chopper from our hand. Yeah, I think we're going to need to do that. There's nothing else you can do, so let's finish up your turn. All right, so they have three swings. We have one life, but we have two blockers. All right, so they're going to play their queen. Dawn minus one, two. Uh, yeah, one, it's a blocker, but they, like, Dawn minus one to draw two, discard one. Actually, Queen's on play. They've drawn two cards and trashed one. Yep, yep, yep. Why would you trash this guy? That That's such a good card. Let's try using Chopper's blocker effect. When one of your cards is attacked, you can use a blocker to uh, to block the damage instead. So it will die because 6k will be bigger than 1k, but uh, we won't take the damage, which is kind of nice. All right, so they gave it extra Dawn to the Jack as well. So we're going to activate the other choppers. Honestly, I, for the record, I probably would not have blocked this. I would have gone down to one. And then if they tried to like swing over my Sanji, I would have blocked then. All right, yeah, we have to just take the damage here. 
Yeah, so 5K to 5K. We got our big boy, daddy boy, Luffy. All right. So we go up to seven. Let's play the Luffy you just drew. All right. Uh, let's give Luffy two Dawn cards. When Luffy has two Dawn cards, your opponent can't use blocker against an attack from Luffy. There we go. So big old 8K and the Thousand Sunny effect as well. It's a 9K and then we can use our leader effect as well. Make it a big 10K. All right, and we can attack Kaido. Now, hopefully they don't have the... Uh, yeah, they, oh, they do have Blast Breath. All right. So can we do 9K? 10K? Oh, but they tied out, so we do win the tie. Nice. Your opponent's Kaido had 10K power. When your power is equal, the attacking side always wins. So Luffy wins the battle. They go, they're at zero life, so we do that one more damage, and then there we go. And then... A battle. Uh, do I get to choose which side I am? Oh, I just get to confirm that the cards in the decks. All right, so they're just the star decks. Okay. So I'm guessing this is Luffy against Kaido, and then soon they're going to have Kaido versus Luffy. All right, you can tap and hold a card to read more about it and get the effects. I uh, Let's see, we have a Karu... And then we can turn three Zoro. Are we going first? Uh, I think we're fine. If we're going first, it's a good hand. If we're going second, it's fine. Okay, cool. All right. So we will play the Karu here. It's a 3K. And uh, that is the end of the turn. So do we want to play Jinbi? All right. So they just did... Oh. All right. Nami's quite good. Nami's great at like recycling our our stuff, but I maybe maybe that's like later in the in the turn. Uh we'll just do Jinbei for three. And then uh we'll use the skill, give it to our Luffy, so one of the Dawn went underneath there. Six K to five K, probably take the damage. Alright. And that is our turn for us. They're at four. They're going to play the who's who's. Oh, they get to KO the Jimby. Oh, that sucks. Uh, no, no counter. We'll just take it. Another Karu. All right, so we are at five Dawn. Let's do... I think the best way to do it. Yeah, so we're going to play Zoro for three. We're going to play the Nami for one. And I think we just... We use the skill to put, give it to Luffy. We use Luffy's skill to give it to Luffy. And then it's a 7k versus their 5k. And they just take it. Oh, they get uh, to draw one and then ramp a Dawn. That's kind of stinky for us. All right. And that's the end. This is the first take, and I uh, if I lose, I lose. But I will say the purple deck's better of the two. All right, so they ramped again. Oh, another who's who's. This is the this card's busted. You only get two in the in the game in the in it, and uh, they gave us three. Uh, yeah, well, Karu. It gets really good. All right. Uh, we'll play Luffy. And I guess we'll use the skill. Give it to the leader. Use leader skill to give it to this Luffy. Drag one of these here. Because he's now up to the Dawn minus two. Yeah, 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 so this can actually block her, which I don't think they would anyways. But, uh, yeah, we'll swing 6k first. 
They'll go up to 6k, 7k. So it lives. They don't take damage. We'll swing the Luffy there. 8k. They'll go down to 2. And we'll play a Tony Tony Chopper. And that's our turn. So this is normally what I see with the red deck is that they just you just go down to like very small versions of man they they get oh wait they they pop the blocker what what okay yeah then minus seven they just trash oh it's a we had an Usopp in there man rough because he'd be able to play himself for free all right oh these are I'll say it. these are stinky cards yeah because uh your opponent can't yeah, they've got no blockers out. Uh, and we've got like nothing to spend our our stuff on. Like these are these are not good cards. Uh, we have two life though. They will have three swings next turn. Uh, they only have three dawn, so that's kind of nice. Uh, let's just be conservative. Let's just go five here. Uh, we'll go six here, and we'll swing there. All right, uh, we'll go, I mean, we just hope we don't die next turn. We'll keep one up for the guard point. And they're at zero, so we'll see what they can do. They're up to six because of their stage. This is such a good card. All right, so they've got a lot of a lot of cards out. We're at two life. That's fine. All right. Uh, they only have the one dawn. Uh, yeah, well, Brooks, I guess. even though we have to over combo for it. Uh, yeah, we'll play the Jinbei for three. Uh, we we'll use character skill and uh, we'll just, we'll just give it all baby. They don't have any blockers and even if they did, they wouldn't do anything about it. Uh, they're at 6k, so there we go. Alright, I still think the purple deck's better. It's just the CPU. <laughs> CPU's a CPU, baby. Man, I don't like these blocker pop-ups. And then a an ad of, you can buy these next month if you're in Japan. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed our little foray there. No doubt uh, this will be the, the reverse, and they'll probably update it somewhat soon i don't know when it's coming to the states maybe soon but if you guys want to play it yourself and get a feel for the game this is the way to do it again if you have any questions please let me know and uh, i think that's really going to be it for for me so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are excited about the one piece card game as much as i am and i'll catch you all next time <laughs>